<laughs> leave, leave right. my job. <laughs> so it always remember to go at your own pace, take breaks as needed. If you experience faintness, dizziness, pain, or shortness of breath at any time, stop exercising. Um, if you just need to take a little bit of break, you can jump right back in, especially when we get to the fitness part where we're doing the five minutes of bicep curls and tricep stuff and shoulder stuff. Um, yeah, so take a break. So let's get ready. We're going to get warmed up. So make sure you have some space. I am going to give you some music and hope that it doesn't drown me out. All right. I hope you guys can still hear me. So just marching now. Take those arms out wide. We're going to bring them forward and out. Even with those shoulders, try not to go all the way back. Still marching. Out. March. And in. Last one. And out. Put those thumbs down. Same thing. Last one. We're going to be set. So out, out, in, in. Good job. Use those arms. You want to get them worked up as well. Last one. Switching feet. Two more. Last one. Good job. Stand in nice and tall. Roll those shoulders forward. Last one, and back. Last one, good job. Back to that march. To bring those knees up, drive those arms down. Last one, curl it in behind, pull those arms back, squeeze those shoulder blades, open up that chest. Two more. Last one, march. Bring those arms up, forward again, and out. Forward. Okay. Well, 
welcome everyone that has jumped on as well. Okay, so we are going to start off. We are going to do biceps. Okay, so biceps are this muscle right here. Uh, you also see when they flex, a big muscle there. Um, your biceps, triceps, and shoulders are a smaller muscle group. And with your biceps, um, you don't actually do, need to do a lot of training with them. They're one of those muscles that does tone up pretty quickly, but also loses its tone quickly. So when we do all the exercises today, you're gonna find you got some nice definition. It might be gone by tomorrow or the day after. Um, so we wanna make sure, so you want biceps, triceps to this one down here. That's the one, you know, when you wave, it kind of waggles a bit. Um, so that's your tricep. And then we're gonna work on our delts. So we have, um, sorry, the one up here, name is escape me. So your anterior, <laughs> your posterior ones back here. And we have this. So when we do our shoulders, we're gonna be working those muscles. You are gonna feel a little bit in your traps as well. Um, so you're, we wanna make sure that we don't tense your neck for any of these exercises because you don't want to pull that, especially since we do this a lot right now at home. Okay, to start off, you're going to find your hand weights. So hand weights or soup cans, whatever you have available, you just wanna make sure you have some resistance. And I'm gonna take this bar apart because, you know, why didn't I do it while I was sitting there for five minutes chatting? Um, so when we do bicep curls, we're gonna stand up nice and tall for them. Bicep curls are one that we do all the time. It's one of those basic exercises that we know a lot about, but you wanna make sure that you're doing them right. So I have plates with your hand weights. You're going to hold them and you wanna make sure, or your soup cans or water bottles, you wanna make sure that they are um, out on a 90 degree angle from your body. And when we curl, we wanna make sure once again, we learn this in all our exercises, our chest is up, squeezing the shoulder blades together, chin is up as well. And those weights start down right about mid thigh. And when you curl up, you curl all the way up to the top, looks different with the plates, but I, that's all I have. I don't have hand weights for some reason. All right, so bring it up. And the other thing you want to make sure is your elbows are in tight to your ribs. If you're doing this, not really a bicep curl, you want to make sure it's nice and close to your body. And the best thing about doing these is you can actually see this muscle working and you can see that definition. So these are your regular bicep curls. And once again, you want to try and come all the way up to the shoulder. You can do halfway, halfway works one part of the muscle. And you can also do the top half, which works the other part of the muscle. So this is actually an exercise. We will do this when we do the song a little bit later. We'll do the bottom half as well. So you can do that. That's something you see a lot in group fitness. It's just a little bit of variation. In the gym, you see the guys doing this. Okay, and then different variations. So this is your regular bicep curl. Okay, and you will feel this in your arms faster than a lot of the other muscles we did. So like your legs and the chest and back, probably took a little bit longer to tire these, those ones out. This one, they're gonna tire quickly, okay? So to change this up, if you now hold to the side, these are called hammer curls. So it's the same technique, nice and tall, and we're bringing those hand weights, but they're now at our side. It's like we're hammering, okay? If you think you have a hammer in your hand, down and up down and up. Once again, elbows still in. You don't want to be way out here. Nice and tight to that body. You probably can feel that in your arms. If you find that your back is getting a little bit sore, you can go to a stagger stance. This is going to protect your lower back. Probably because your back's getting sore is because you're swinging. You don't want to do this. This is not a bicep curl. Okay, it's going to make you dizzy and it's going to hurt that lower back as well. Nice and straight. The only thing is movement, the only movement is at your elbow. That joint is the only thing moving. No shoulders, so it's not this, okay? Just at the elbow. Good, all right. So there's two. So this is one, this is two, okay? And you can alternate in between them if you want. What it does is it just targets different parts of that muscle, gives you some variation as well. If you were just to do these all the time, 
your muscles are going to get tired and you can also get some injuries. You want to make sure we work all the sides of the muscles. And the biceps are the opposite to the triceps. So if we work the biceps, we want to make sure we work the triceps as well. The same with all our muscle groups. Good. All right. It is a different activity if you have a barbell as well. Because your hands are now connected by the bar, you want the same posture and you're curling up and down. I find it sometimes easier to use the bar just because I have a lazier shoulder on the one side. And I find that sometimes it's not the full range of motion I want. With the bar, it actually helps me get that range of motion. Um, and I feel it a little bit more than when I do these ones. Okay, so if you're lucky enough to have a bar or body bar, or even if you have the plates that you put on the end, feel free to try that as well. Okay, biceps. See, that was easy, wasn't it? You guys are all agreeing with me. Woohoo! All right. Triceps, there's quite a few exercises for them. Um, triceps means that there are actually three muscles. So biceps, there's two. Triceps, there's three. Okay, and these are, they run down here. And they're a funny little muscle. They tire very, very fast. So if you think back to last week when we were doing the chest press um, and the flies and the push-ups, these poor little muscles got the brunt of it. Um, and that's probably why your arms are a little bit sore because um, they will feel it first before your chest because your chest is a stronger muscle. Okay, so with your triceps, it's just like your bicep except this the opposite movement. But because they're at the back of your arm, we have to center them out. So there's a couple of ways to do that. So the first one is, we're back to that hinge of the hip. And we have our arms here, you want them in line with your shoulders. So we did the rows last week. This is the tricep and this is the kickback. So from here, you extend your arm back and bring it forward. If you notice, no movement in that shoulder. If you're doing this, you're actually gonna hurt your shoulder because if you have weights on the end of it, um, it's gonna tire that out and it's just got the shoulder going in a weird way. So we're targeting the triceps. Triceps are now up, gravity's working against them, back and forward. So with your weights in your hands, back and forward. You're gonna feel the biceps working a little bit on that because it is a little bit of a curl as well. Okay, because you have to bring those weights forward, but we are targeting the tricep because it is now up and against that gravity. You can single arm, so from, this, from the front, once again, elbows tucked in nice and close, they're not at like this. Okay, get them in. If you're finding that your elbows are out like this, it's just a mechanical thing, so you just have to focus. So you can do it without practice, without the weight, getting set up, keeping, those elbows in nice and close, so they're going back, so they're not out doing the funky chicken, as I like to call it. <laughs> so, there's your tricep kick back, kickbacks. You can do single arm as well. Okay, just to focus and a little bit of variation. All right, good. Okay, tricep kickback. Next one is the extension. And we have the pullover as well. So going down to the ground, these sometimes you do need that little bit of a um, height variation. So if you have something that you can lie on, feel free to do so. Remember, we can also do the glute bridges to make this a little bit more difficult. I hope you guys can still see me. We're gonna bring those plates up or your hand weights. If you wanna use one hand weight, feel free to use one hand weight or you can use whatever you have. Bringing those hands up. We are going to bring, once again, movement is at the elbows. Bring that plate or hand weights, whatever you have, down to that forehead, extend straight back up. This is a great exercise to do without the weights as well. If you find that it's a little bit tight in here or your elbows are out flailed, because remember we want it to come straight down. So you're coming down to that 90 degree angle, okay? If your elbows are out a little bit, this is a good exercise to do without the weights to get that movement, get that technique. Because sometimes we're just a little bit tight in there just because that we're busy typing and everything else. So once again, wrists are up, 
Bring it down towards that forehead. Try not to hit your forehead, please. Bring it down, extend straight back up. You should be able to feel your triceps. If you wanna do this with two hand weights or two whatever you have, same thing, down and up. Try and control both hands, same time. This is a great one to do with the bar as well. So those are your extensions. Now we have the press. So we did chest press last week. The tricep press is just like the push-up we did in the warm-up. Your elbows come down right against those ribs, push straight back up. So elbows bend down to the ribs, push straight back up. The elbows are into the ribs. This is different from the chest press. Chest press, you go out nice and wide. That's your chest press. This is your tricep press, down and up. Down, elbows touching those ribs, and up. Down and up, okay? Next are your pullovers. So we're going back up to this plate right up above our nose and our chin. And what we're going to do is, you're just going to let those arms drop above that head as far as you're comfortable and bring it all the way back up to that starting position. So down and up. You're gonna feel it a little bit in here, especially if you're tight. Down and up. So one more. So notice that my arms are straight, or as straight as they can be. This is your extension, or skull crushers. I like to call them skull crushers because I have seen some people drop it on their skull. Okay, these are the pullovers. And this is the press with a single weight. Once again, elbows in to those ribs. So there are three exercises on your back. So we've done four for the triceps. We have one more to do. So coming back up to standing, placing those plates for hand weights or whatever you have, you just use one. This one's a tough one. Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm trying to get as far back as you can because I am a little bit taller. So we're gonna bring those elbows up so they're pointing up towards the ceiling. And see where your ears are? They're now touching your arms. And you're extending straight up so your arms are straight. Bring it back down, back of your head. And it's actually gonna start right there in between the shoulder blades. Lift up, shoulders up, chin up, chest up. Good. Okay, I mean, you might be getting your elbows cracking. It's just because everything's a little bit tight in there. This is a good one to do as well. You can do this sitting at a desk um, with anything that you have available because it stretches everything out. It's a good seated activity. Actually, any of these bicep and tricep ex activities except the ones down on the ground, you can pretty much do from your desk, from your chair. So if you want that fitness break in between meetings, or if you're listening to a very long lecture that is going on and on and on and on, you can sit there and do this if your camera's off. I wouldn't suggest doing it with your camera on because it's just gonna distract the class or your meeting, but you can do it, okay? So there are your tricep activities. All right, you're now gonna do shoulders because I wanna make sure we have lots of time to do the music part of the class to really feel everything. <laughs> Because your shoulders are a little bit weaker and a little bit of a difference with your um, motion, you may have to drop the weight or you can just do a body weight as well. To do this, we don't do this a lot. Even though this is a natural movement for us and a lot of birds, this is something we don't do a lot and we tend to find very difficult because we are tight in this area because of the way we sit at our desk and because of our posture. And this is where we carry a lot of our tension, especially if the stress is up in this area. So doing these exercises, once again, you can do them from your desk, even without the weights. This is going to help free that up, make your shoulders a little bit stronger, and also help with your posture. So we're gonna do a couple of different exercises. So grabbing onto your aids here. These are the lateral raises. So the weights start right at the top of your legs. We bring them up, arms even with those shoulders, bring it down. So you notice the difference as soon as you put some resistance on there, some weight, and down. 
up and down. And this is working this muscle right here. Up and down. So it looked like a bird flying. Up and down. Good job. Do a couple more because we are going to hit this when we do the fitness part. And the last one. Good. So the opposite is the anterior raise. So starting at the front of your legs again, nice and tall, chest up, chin up, shoulder blades back, chin up as well, lift up even with the shoulders. Even and down. Up and down. Once again, if you need a little bit of help because you're feeling that in your lower back, go to a split stance. It will help. Up. Good job. One more. All right. Okay. So we have lat raises. We have anterior raises. 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 Shoulder press. So making sure elbows are in line with those shoulders. Once again, you can go to a split step, step if you need to, or feet together. Making sure chest is up again. We're going to push up above our head. Bring it down in line with those shoulders. Push up and down. And down. Okay. You can do this one with the bar as well. So it's just pushing up and down with the plates or hand weights. You actually get a little bit of an extra motion because you squeeze together and you bring it down. And down. Two more. Arms are probably getting a little bit tired now. Good job. All right. Last one for the shoulders is for the rotator cuff. So a good part of your shoulder, and it's one that does get injured a lot. So we go to 90 degree angle, kind of like we're holding on to a shopping cart or a buggy. And all you want to do is open wide, like you're hugging someone, even though you're not allowed to do that anymore, and bring it close. Open and close. Okay, so we're just doing a little bit of a rotation. Good. Do two more. And we give our shoulders a little bit of a rest. You can grab a drink of water and then we are going to put it all to music. Okay, any questions while we take a little second of break here, feel free to unmute yourself, friends. It's okay, I'm not going to bite. <laughs> <laughs> I like talking to people too, because I don't get to talk to anyone. No questions? I don't even have the chat box open, but that's okay. Nope, nothing in the chat box. Okay, so are you guys ready to work it out? What do you think? I'm ready. You're ready, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Diane's not afraid of me, not anymore. No, I know, <laughs> I know it's coming. Okay. <laughs> so we are going to do bicep curls, we are going to do triceps, and we're going to do shoulders. Um, so it is going to be about 15 minutes. Like I said, if you do need to take a little bit of a break, feel free to do so. Um, if you want to get rid of whatever weight equipment you have and just do it with body weight, feel free to do so as well. All right, music. So we are going to start off with triceps. Okay, so grabbing onto those weights. I gotta keep you guys standing up. I'm not gonna take you down to the ground. So we're gonna put those plates or hand weights together, coming up to that extension. So this is your standing extension. Bring it up for four, three, two, down for four. Up again, elbows in nice and close. And down. Last one. 
one. Back to four. Four, three, two, down for four. Up and down. And down. Single it out. Last one. Good job. Bring it down. Come into that hinge. Ready? Bring it back for two. Four for two. Nice and close. Good job. Take it back for one, four, three, two, one. Back. Three, two. No moving in that shoulder. Take it back for four, slow. Four, four. Back again. Four. Good job, single it out. Last one. Good job. All right. Back to that extension. Standing extension. Bring it up to four. You need to you drop those weights. Do body weight. And up. Single. Two more. Good job. And back to those kickbacks. Here we go, singles. Keep it nice and close. Good job. And take it back for four. Forward for four. Again. Good job. All right, give me a little bit of a shake. We are going to get set up for bicep curls. <laughs> you need to, you can give yourself a little bit of a stretch as well. So you can bring your arm up. This is your tricep stretch. You will do them at the end as well. Other side. Good job. All right. Bring you back up those weights. All right, starting off, we're going forward. Okay, ready? We are going to start off with single, four, three, two, curl it up. Getting all the way up, remember, posture nice and tall. Last one. Bring it up for a count of two. Down for two. Up for two. Down for two. Up for two. Down for two. Up for two. Good job. Down. Up for one. Down for three. Up. Last one. Bring it up to three. Down for one. Three. One. Three. One. Three. Down. Single it out. If you have to, I like to move my feet while I'm doing this. It takes your mind off the pain. And it's okay. Just want to keep that posture nice and tall. You need to remember split stance. Two more. Last one. Good job. We are going to flip it. Hammer curl. Up for two. Down for two. Up for two. 
down for two. Keep your nose, elbows in, tight. No moving in that shoulder, no swinging. Good job, up for one, down for three. Up for one, down for three. Up, down for three. Up, down for three. Ready, up for three. Three, two, one, down. Three, two, one, down. Three, two, one, down. Three, two, one, down. Up for four, three, two, down for four. Slow control. Feel that burn. Here we go again. Down. Single it out. Two more. Last one. Bottom half. So up halfway. Down. Up halfway. Down. 90 degree angle. Down. Last one. Good job. Bring us to top. Top half. Down to 90 degrees. Last one. Single it out. Up and down. Three, two. Last one. Flip. Four, three, two. Last one. Down to the bottom. Up for two. Down for two. Sorry, I picked the longest song I had. I don't know why. Bring it up for four, three, two, down for four, up for four, down, single, last one, put it to the side, hammers. Good job. Bring it up for two. Down for two. Up again. Two. Down for two. Up for two. Down for two. Up for two. Good job. Flip. Up for two. Down for two. Three more. Good job. Two more. Last one. Good job. All right, giving those arms a shake. If you want to stretch out the biceps, this is a good bicep stretch. Actually, it's a shoulder one. That's the bicep as well. Quick shake of the arms, then we're going to get into our shoulders. We're almost there. If you need to drop the weights on this one, your body weight, once again, feel free to do so. So, starting off. Lateral raises. Here we go. Bring it up for two. Down for two. Slow motion birds. Up for two. Down for two. Up for three. Two. One. Down. Three. Two. One. Down. Three. Two. One. Down. Three. Two. One. Down. Single. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good job. Bring it forward. Up for two. Down for two. Down for two. Down for two. Two more. Two. Down. Last one. Up. Rain up for four. Slow and roll. Down for four. Up again. And down. Good job. Single it out. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. 
questions as we stretch. I'm okay with that. So starting up, bring it all the way up, reaching those arms up, reach for that ceiling, and bring it down. Exhale on the way down. Again, so inhale, and bring it down. Good job. You do one more. And down. Good job. All right, taking that one arm, I'm gonna bring it across 90 degree angle and you're pushing against this hand with that arm. It's gonna stretch out your shoulder. Good job. And switch. So bring that arm across. Good job. These are good stretches to do as well throughout the day. Really helps those shoulders. Keep your arms a shake. You're gonna bring them up and in behind. So elbow pointed up. It's just like the tricep extension we're doing. We're just putting that hand on top of the elbow, gently pulling that arm in towards us. And switch. Bring that arm up. Good job. And bring it down. We are just going to bring those arms in behind. Open up that chest. Reach back as far as you can. Roll your shoulders back as well. Good job. And release. And just taking those arms out, we are going to flip them down, pushing back, thumbs down towards the ground. Good job, and bringing it down. Roll those shoulders back. Give them, a, give them a stretch, and give yourself a big round of applause. Excellent job, my friends. Thank you so much for tuning in for week three. Uh, next week is going to be core. I have a feeling we are just going to do 45 minutes of core down on the ground, which will be a lot of fun because we'll learn a lot of stuff together. And I think it'll be the best way to learn it instead of me breaking it down step by step by step. 
We can just do the class. So.